Somehow I cleaned yesterday and it's dirty again. How does that happen? Welcome back to another episode, did 72, 72 today, going on my daily vlogs. Daily vlogs videos, really, it's not a lot, it's not always a log of my day, it's, sometimes it's just a single project, sometimes it's a lot of things. Earlier today I went and uh, took the old motor, some people were telling me, Luke, you should get a reround, but I ended up uh, going and recycling it for the scrap. And you may be asking, hey Luke. I mean, you might not be asking, but you want to know. Even if you don't know that you want to know, you want to know. You want to know how much you get for a recycled motor when you take the copper out of it and sell it for part copper and part steel, part tin. They charge for tin. Well, let's take a look at the receipt. So I went to American Metal Recycling. I brought in eight pounds of copper, number two, whatever that means. I got $13 for it. And then the tin sheet metal, which is what they count the uh, rotor and stator as. Um, I got three fifty for it at you know, eighty-five dollars for a newton ton. So in all in all, I got sixteen seventy-six for it, which is a little bit more than I imagined. I thought I would get more like fifteen dollars, but hey, I'm not complaining for about a couple extra bucks. That'll be put towards the uh, price for a new motor. Four hundred dollars for the motor. So already, what is that like? Three three percent is paid for. I pretty much got three percent off the new motor. I also have some other stuff I want to show you. On a completely unrelated note, I bought some wood today. This wood is leopard wood. I got some really high figured stuff over here, which looks really nice. And this is some low figured stuff. I realized. The difference between high figure and low figure is has somewhat to do with the tree, but it has even more so to do with the cut of the wood. Uh, in leopard wood, you get better, uh, better grain pattern, better texture when it is flat sawn. If you look at the end grain, you can see that it's flat sawn. The growth rings go parallel to the long face of the board, like that. But if you look at the at this low figured one, the grain goes the grain goes vertically to the um, to the long face of the of the board, not the log. This is what's known as quarter sawn, and this is what's known as flat sawn. Quarter sawn is really good for uh, guitars because it's a very structurally stable cut. So I'm gonna today I'm going to be cutting up not this piece because this is for a for sides for guitars. This piece is for pen blanks because it was on sale, which means I'm there to buy it. A little bit of bug damage on this side, but overall, a pretty nice looking board. I love the, um, the pattern. It's like vines. Also today, I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak preview of a build that I'm doing that I'm in the middle of that I'm about to finish up. Um, this, is, this is a custom build for one of my subscribers who contacted me through the email, through my email, right here. He wanted a Jaguar body with this, you know, set of specifications, maple top, ash, uh, ash body, uh, and I'm just about finishing it up. Today I'm going to be printing the uh, template for, or the sheet for all the electronics cavities for there to be routed out. I'm going to route them out hog out with the uh, drilled press and then route it with the router just to finish it up. I'm not going to show all of it today though. I'm only going to show a little sneak preview because that video is going to be in the future, in the near future. But before I do anything, I'm in the middle of a radiator flush where I uh, put, where I'm draining my radiator and I take, uh, and I take all the fluid out. I refill with water and vinegar or any kind of acid it'll eat away the rust on the inside and it'll make it nice and clean so it runs cool for a trip. I have my bucket underneath. I'm gonna disconnect this hose right here.
I'm just gonna keep doing this uh, until no more gross rusty stuff comes out the lower uh, radiator hose. I'm just trying to get all the rust out so it runs cool. I mean, it does run cool, but I mean, you might as well take the, you might as well take the time to do it right. See what nasty stuff was in the radiator. Oh. Nice. Nice and rusty. The last thing I want to do before I call this a day is I want to cut up some of this leopard wood into pen blanks, uh, which is roughly three quarter inch square by five inches long. I noticed something really interesting at the wood store when I went there. This is a piece of low figured leopard wood, and it was about four dollars a board full. This, on the other hand, is a high figured piece of leopard wood. But I noticed that grains on each one are you know, perpendicular. This is flat on, this is quarter sun. Why that's really great for pen turning with leopard wood is because the cut of a piece of lumber doesn't matter when you turn something. Because when you turn it, there, there isn't a face. It's, there, there, there aren't you know, specific faces, it's one face, it's the circumference. So when you turn a piece of quarter sun quarter sawn leopard wood, a piece of flat sawn leopard wood into two blanks, they're not any different because the four faces just become one and they all blend into each other. So, so a specific cut on a piece of lumber that you're going to turn into a pen blank or you know a call blank if it's two, two inch, uh, eight quarter inch lumber, it doesn't matter the cut quarters on, flats on, riffs on, because in the end it's just going to have one face. And that's kind of cool. Because that means that this piece of I don't know, probably 10 inch long, 10 by 5 and a half inch long low figured leopard wood, and it's only low figured because it's quarters on, means that this will produce blanks that have just as much figure as this. So this is what I'm talking about. This is what it looks like just plain Jane. This is on the quarter sawn side. Grain is up and down, so the quarter side is on the top and bottom. But you flip it over, and you get this really cool pattern.
Wow, that's bizarre. That is really bizarre. I think I'm gonna end the vlog right there, for today at least. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be interesting. Telecaster perhaps? Awesome, but I'm glad you stayed with me. You know, the point of vlogs is not that every day is really interesting. The point is just that you go with me through each day, you know. And this was my day, you know. I went to the scrapyard, went to, not the scrapyard, the recycled plant. I uh, went to a woodworker source, worked in my truck, cut some wood up, did a little bit of guitar work. It's actually over there now. So if you have stuck around with me this long, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate a like and a subscription if I earned it. Um, if, if you already subscribed, we'll see you tomorrow for another daily video, which I'm excited to see you here for. So yeah, thanks again for watching. T catch you in tomorrow. Telecaster episode. Only two more left, including tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Also, I'm going to be putting these up for sale tonight, so if you are interested in some leopard wood, uh, go ahead and go to the Facebook group um, Wood Turning and Woodworking Auction Site, where these will be, this wood will be up for sale. Not this piece, but some of the other pen blades that you, that you just saw. So, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Catch you next time. Stay dusty. There it is. There's my logo. There's my catchphrase.